Today we're announcing the Oracle, you know, the Oracle Autonomous Operating System, our version of Linux, which we've been working on for almost 20 years, believe it or not, uh, is now autonomous. The new version of Oracle Linux is autonomous. It is the first and is the only autonomous OS in the world. And it's live. It's, it's pretty cool. Thank you, Ed Scrivett and Wim and the huge team of people who've been working on this. I think Wim's only been working on it 20 years. It took Wim a long time to get this right. <laughs> but he stuck it out. <laughs> it's a big job. Building these systems, by the way, is hard. It's complicated. You, uh, we've been working on a database for a long time. We've been working on the OS for a long time. It's not easy. There's a, you know, there's a reason why you know, um, we had the first autonomous database. It's been working on that problem for a long time. First autonomous OS. 20 years of effort. Um, so it runs our cloud. It, run, it runs our, all of our applications run on autonomous Linux. All, all of our infrastructure runs on autonomous Linux. Hundreds of thousands of servers, hundreds of millions of transactions a day, proven itself, it's live in our cloud. It also runs all of our appliances like Exadata, and we support thousands of customers uh, who run our Linux, Oracle Linux, on premise in, uh, in their place, as opposed to running Red Hat, they run, they run our Linux. And availability, it's down around, kind of guaranteed to be down two minutes a month. It's a highly available system designed for the cloud. And this looks familiar, right? Like the database, it provisions itself, it scales itself, it tunes itself, it does it all while it's running. It patches itself while it's running. You discover a security vulnerability in Oracle Autonomous Linux, and we fix it, and you don't even know. There's no outage, there's no downtime, there's no delay. Once a vulnerability has been detected, we fix it while it's, while, while it's running. <laughs> you know, Equifax had a problem uh, a year ago, I think I talked about Equifax, and uh, they were patching, uh, patching a, a database called Apache Struts, or data store, whatever you want to call it. We'll call it everything a database. So they were patching uh, Apache struts, and they, first they had to find downtime, when, when can you do this, when can you take these systems down. Actually, the vulnerability, they had known about for six months, but they finally got some downtime, they, you know, they took it down, they patched. Most of the instances, the majority of the instances of Apache struts, they patched, but they didn't, couldn't find a few. It's a manual process. Couldn't find a few. Disastrous catastrophic data loss. There are no human errors, there are no emissions, there are, we don't miss anything, there are no delays, there's no waiting and scheduling of downtime. It patches itself while it's running. And we patch the entire fleet, you know, you know, millions of cores. In fact, when the Spectre meltdown bug showed up, uh, we ha we actually had to patch our entire cloud because we use an it's a bug on, on in Intel chips. Uh, we had to patch our entire fleet of, of processors, of cores, of systems, of, of C whatever we want to call. Them. We had to patch all 150 million patches. We applied to our entire cloud in four hours, no downtime, no downtime, all fixed, kept running, proven. Done. No one else, nobody else can do that. We've been in the Linux business since, since uh, 1998, and again, 20 years. We've been developing Linux. Uh, we started supporting customers who were using, uh, preferred running our Linux uh, to Red Hat. Uh, we've been doing that since 2006, so we've been in this business for a very, very long time. Uh, so again, it's not like we just discovered Linux. We've been working on this, for, we have a large team of people working on this for a very, very long time. Because we felt we needed, uh, running underneath the Oracle database, 
we felt we needed a highly reliable, highly scalable, highly available OS to go with our highly reliable, scalable, available database. Uh, and we started this before, you know, before the cloud generation, but now the cloud generation is here. It is exactly what we need to pair with our database and our other autonomous services. Uh, it's designed for extreme performance, high reliability, always secure. In that sense, it's different than Red Hat, which is, you know, which is, you know, designed for, you know, kind of traditional on-premise applications. Uh, but we're completely compatible with Red Hat. Any Red Hat application will run unchanged on Oracle Autonomous Linux. In 13 years, not one compatibility bug has ever been filed for Oracle Linux. Every Red Hat application runs unchanged on, on Oracle Linux. We have thousands of customers that we support, thousands of ISV applications. So, you know, it's very, very, it, it, you can rest assured that your application will run unchanged uh, if you move it from Red Hat to Oracle. But, the, but there are differences. We're designed for extreme performance. We're designed for high reliability. We're designed for high security. Oh, and one more thing. And our Linux is autonomous. It's interesting, some of the, some of the people that have chosen to use, some of the customers that have chosen to use Oracle Linux in their cloud. The Oracle Linux that they have in their cloud, if they're updated and current, is the very Oracle Autonomous Linux. AWS, Salesforce.com, IBM Software. Now, in full disclosure, and of course, our cloud. In full disclosure, since IBM bought Red Hat for $32 billion, they are, they are trying to move off of, as much as possible, Oracle Autonomous Linux and onto Red Hat. But they still use, but they still use Oracle Autonomous Linux. Right, to this day. Highly available, reliable, and secure. Uh, very easy to do a conversion. Anyone thinks, you know, hey, I'm, I'm running Red Hat now, I'm going to move to Oracle Cloud, how hard is it to convert? This is what you got to do. Almost nothing. You point your servers to our Linux update server, you're done. No reboot, no nothing. It's a one step, literally instantaneous migration. Uh, and when you move, when you use Oracle Autonomous Linux in the cloud, the price is just right. It's free. So if you're paying IBM, you can stop. <laughs> <laughs>